Hello everyone, I decided to share with you my setup for playing live with Reason. Hopefully this video will be helpful to uh, keyboard players out there who owns Reason and thinking about ways to use it for live performances. Um, I was a main stage user before I switched to Reason and the main reason, no pun intended uh, for the switch, is I thought Reason was easier and faster to set up than main stage. I hated how everything you start up, every time you start up main stage that you have to assign the controllers and press the Lewis key just to recognize the controller properly, but I digress. Also, I'm at home right now running Reason through my desktop PC, but obviously if I have to play live somewhere else, I'd be using my laptop. Um, so here's a quick rundown of my setup. Uh, my main keyboard is an 88 key weighted keyboard it's a cheap casio weighted key but um since everything is run through reason i don't have to worry about the sounds coming out of this keyboard anyway uh good thing about this is that uh it's 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 very light so lugging it around isn't very difficult i also have a nano control that i use to control the sounds uh four different sounds coming out of reason so for the main keyboard um, I pretty much have my main piano. Um, I can easily call up um, and that would be an electric piano. Um, I also have a warm pad and strings. Obviously with this setup, I can easily blend in sounds. Like that. Um, for my second keyboard, uh, I have a 37 key MIDI controller. In this case, it's a Line 6 KB37, uh, which also doubles up as my audio interface. Um, so both keyboard sounds are coming out of the interface. And the good thing about this MIDI controller is it already has, uh, it already comes with four knobs and four buttons, which is perfect for assigning controls in a combinator. So um, to give you a, a demo of what sounds I have in here, these are um, what I call workman's tones, which is probably what you'd be using um, 80 or 90% of the time. I have a synth and I can easily mute that and solo another one. In this case, it's a brass. And then another set of um, synth style keys. And the last one, it's a distorted rock organ. Um, in this case, I can also blend it in um, whichever way I want to. So both sounds are being controlled by Combinator right there. Um, and to get you started on how that's set up, um, I'll sh also show you how to do that. Okay, so here we are um, at my template for Reason uh, for using it live. Um, first, let's look at the preferences section, see how all the control surfaces are set up. Um, here you would see um, the three hardware that I am controlling. Uh, first is my Fastlane uh, USB MIDI interface, uh, which pretty much is used for the Casio keyboard because the Casio keyboard is, doesn't have a USB um, USB connection. It only um, connects through MIDI. Um, and I also have my Korg Nano Control and my secondary keyboard, which is the Line 6. KB37. Um, key thing here is that the, the uh, 88 key Fastlane interface is um, set up as my master keyboard and I can explain why um, later. Uh, 
So there are two ways I can quickly think of using Reason Live, and the simpler the simpler one, which I personally use, is what I call like like a workman's method, um, which is pretty much uh, just using two dedicated combinator patches with sounds that you would typically use in a live setting. Um, so each combinator is assigned um, to each controller, um, driving my main sounds. So for this uh, first combinator patch, this is um, dedicated to the 88 key controller. And I have all four sound sets active because I don't need, really need to turn them off on and off anyway. I just blend the sounds as much as I want to. Um, and for my synth sounds, uh, I do I do need to turn them on and off at will, um, depending on what patch I do. Um, but I, I can also blend uh, whatever two sounds that I wish, and then I can just uh, use the volume knob to do that. Um, so what I do here, you, you so f for you to save the patch, um, to, to save the the session. Um, what I do here is I just lock the the keyboard each keyboard to its own uh, to its own combinator. So this one is currently locked to the line six KB thirty seven, and this one is currently locked into the nano control. Uh, and this way, every time I open up this particular session, it's um, it's saved as is like that. Um, so for this kind of setup. What's the key thing here is learning how to use uh, or how to program uh, the combinator um, because if we pull up the show devices in the sounds uh, synth sounds uh, right here, you would see that uh, I have a line mixer uh, and below that are all the sound sets that I have uh, for this combinator. Um, good thing about using a combinator too is that you can combine as much sounds as you want. Uh, so for example, my first sound, which is a synth based sound, I have two different NNXTs going into a spider audio and then being routed to the first channel. Um, and then my second, um, second sound, which would be the brass section, <clears throat> is routed to this uh, to another spider audio and then going to the second channel of the line mixer. Um, so how I program this is for each button. It's um, it's assigned to the solo function for each synth. So every time I call up uh, whichever patch I need, it just solos that particular function. Obviously, I can uh, I can combine any sounds that I wish. I can solo two different sounds um, and then just control the volume but for for this particular patch I prefer it uh, to have a, a dedicated solo button for each one um, and the the rotary knobs right here are also assigned to each channels volume volume fader so how you do that is you go to the show programmer section right here and then you just assign everything through the line mixer because everything is uh, routed to the line mixer anyway to start with. So you you basically program all the rotaries to each level, channel level, and all buttons to each solo function on the line mixer. So that way you can um, you can call up the sounds right here. Uh, and I guess that's the first method of um, using Reason Live. Okay, so for the second way of using Reason um, for live performances, um, which I would call uh, like a set list method, uh, is a little bit more complicated, but it's pretty much doing what you've uh, what the first method has uh, shown us. But instead of dedicating both combinators before, um, this time only the 88 key is dedicated to a combinator. Um, so how we do this is, uh, if you remember a while ago, uh, in the preferences section in the control services, uh, my uh, fast lane interface uh, was uh, was made into a, a master keyboard. This time around, you don't um, 
you can't use a master keyboard so you have to uh, disable that um, so what that will do here is um, if you right click now you can see it that you can you have the option to lock your uh, 88 key or whatever your main keyboard is to uh, your main sound source or your main keyboard uh, combinator patch like that um, now come to think of it you probably don't didn't need to do um, assign to assign any master controller in even in the first method anyway but it's uh, I guess it's important to understand th that component so you can uh, you, you can right click and lock each um, each hardware to whatever combinator you wish to so for my example I I would lock my 88 key controller to this main patch right here which pretty much using the piano the pad uh, um, the electric piano and the strings um, and now for my for my second controller right here I separated it uh, on a different rack but what uh, this hap what this does now is free up your second controller to whichever device you want it to control um, now the important thing here here is um, if I right click here remember in the first method I, I had this locked to the KB 37 um, but I disabled that for this method so you can freely move to um, each patch um, at your will and how you do that is um, for this by the way for this method I um, I just added a bunch of Thor's and uh, subtractor um, just to show you how to navigate through it but um, you obviously can do a combinator and you can uh, you can program it as well to your liking um, but for this particular method you'd have to utilize your your timeline in order for this to work now um, for this example remember my main keyboard is locked up to this co um, combinator patch right here um, so what this does is for my second controller every time you click on each song I, I just titled this a song um, to represent probably your set list for the night um, you can see it here that I um, renamed this as well um, you can probably do a combinator and save it as a patch or, or so per a song basis um, but when when you have to uh, when you start playing you have to click uh, I can't do it right now because it'll probably um, disable my record uh, my audio right here but you can um, you can click on your first song and that'll instantly um, control whatever you have um, for that particular patch on your secondary keyboard now if you have a up and down button on your MIDI um, secondary MIDI controller or you can actually use your PC uh, up and down um, buttons too to do that you can just click up and down um, on your timeline just make sure that you're on your timeline um, to do this so you can each control it with um, with your navigation button um, up and down I personally don't use this kind of method because um, I find it's very uh, cumbersome and I could easily get lost if I accidentally press the wrong button um, but I can see this useful for um, those who probably would need uh, a lot more um, material or a lot more sound that they they need to call up per song on a per song basis um, I just don't I, I don't use this because I don't prefer looking at my computer uh, when I'm performing so I prefer the first method because I can I know what sounds I I need to use and I just um, basically turn that off on or on um, whichever I want to so there there you have it I hope that makes sense and is useful to anybody out there looking to use reason for live performances uh, like I said, there are a lot of ways to utilize Reason for live gigs. And if you have a different way of doing it, please do let me know. I would love to pick your brain on how you use it for live performances. Uh, otherwise, um, if you have any other questions, please uh, let me know. Um, or if you you want uh, the copy of my Combinator patches, um, you can just uh, leave your email address in the comment sections and uh, um, so I can send that over to you. Cheers.